Okay, good, good. Okay, then finally, let's start. So thank you everyone for joining me so far. I guess that I hope somebody else will join now. Um, this is my second attempt, so hopefully it will be fine now. Okay, so welcome to my release party presentation in YouTube. Um, I already did a live in um, Facebook on the actual release date, which was the 22nd. Maybe you have seen the first video that I released back then. And um, I wanted to just show you here uh, my new stamps and stencils and then all the samples that I made with them. So then you know what it's coming in my YouTube channel next and then you help me decide. And then I may do a little demo if you want me to. And we have here some shops. Well, at least for now we have Stampers Grove. And if you like what you see, then basically you can order from them or from any of the shops that put your links. Um, we recommend to kind of a shop from your local store but if you don't have any in your country or close by, then you can order from these shops because they ship worldwide in principle. Uh, okay, then let's start. <clears throat> so I have here my newest stamps and stencils. So let's start with the first one. This is ESC 27. It's about coffee. And as you can see here, well, you have different, a couple of mugs, this one and that one. And they are very helpful because, I mean, we have little sentiments here that actually you can stamp on the blank spaces here. So I, I like them very much. Hi, Luby. Luby Craft is there. So probably, yeah, hello. And then we have here uh, three little um, beans of coffee beans and you can create a pattern with them. They are very nice for that. And then little pastries as well that you can cut and use. So I'll show you the different samples that I've made with this. And then you can see uh, what different things you can make. I mean. There are many options, of course. So I created first these two samples from here. And then basically, uh, well, I, I put the little sentiments over there and over there. And I used glossy accents to cover this one. So these are, there is a video for these ones already and you may have seen it already in my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, then basically you can go. And then um, the different <laughs> Stampers Group is saying that they are trying to work out how to share without living the life. Good luck because today I didn't know how to even start a live, so imagine. Hola Silvia, ¿qué tal? Well, these are the two samples. Estas son las dos muestras que hice con la primera, el primer set de sellos, ¿vale? Que es este. ¿Vale? Okay, so this is the first stamp set. Oops. And it has also coffee marks. Tiene también marcas de café y unas pastitas, ¿vale? Así que, eh, with this mug, basically you can do, I mean, with this um, muffin, or cupcake well you can create like this is like a mini cake or also it can be like a, well a muffin and you can change the color so then it different tastes etc and this can even be called like an ice cream cone if you substitute the bottom right and well here i'm using the other stamps from the collection that you will see next pues estas son las primeras muestras y bueno y esta mini muffin se puede convertir incluso hasta un, en un helado si la, sustituyes la parte de abajo por un cono por ejemplo and these are the stackable macarons, so I stamp different times and then I cut them. So I'm sure you've seen this video, seguro que habéis visto este video, ya lo tengo en mi canal de YouTube. And the other sample that I made, la otra muestra que hice, was this cappuccino. I love this one. You like it? It's so shiny. And then basically here I stamp many times and then cut and arranged everything so you can see that there is many shadows. And here I'm using the new Wow embossing powders that I've designed for a while, which are called is called outside. Okay, so um, these are the different um, well the different powders that I designed for um, Wow, and I'll show you them there as well in case that you want to to see them. So it's they are called it's called outside, and there are three colors of powders, the ones that I have here. So it's like. Uh, three different colors and then you mix it with gold and then basically you well you, you have the shine from the actual color and then the gold all combined and then well they come as a trio for now and then these are the three colors as you can see I don't know if the light yeah like that so yeah one is called luxurious chocolate which is the brown one that you've seen in the pr first sample here I was using luxurious chocolate and then um, there is the orange one, which is called pumpkin latte. It's over there. And then it comes the um, caramel vanilla, which is the yellow one. And yeah, so there are the three powders. And then, well, with that, I basically created the cream of the cappuccino, which was pretty awesome. I like it very much. And then, yeah, uh, the spoon and the little one. 
So and I created the background with the three beans, repeated them over, over, over on my background. So this may be the one that I show you next week in my YouTube channel. Let me know if uh, that's a preference for you guys, okay? <coughs> then, <coughs> excuse me, because I've been sick all day <laughs> and I was in bed the whole day until, I don't know, like 4 p.m. or something. Then I woke up, up um, in this, I woke up from bed and then I was like more or less okay, but oof, it's been a rough day, but I managed to get some energy for tonight. <laughs> and uh, well, let's go. Oh, with this one, it comes these um, stencil, which has some coffee beans. So I'll show you here. So it's like uh, the base, the bottom, and then you have the base on the top. And then basically you can use them together. And then you have the three sentiments there. And with this, I created this card. Le hice esta, esta tarjeta con ese. I don't know if you can see, but here I use the stencil. So a uh, softer ink for the background. And then I applied darker ink on the top. And this is from the hot chocolate here. And I use some crunch paste, texture paste to create this. And I wasn't sure if I wanted the shine or not from the powders. So then I left this a bit open and then I basically just, I can turn this into there. And then I have a different sentiment, which is more muted. So if you want, you can do like that. Oh my gosh, now. So it's a bit of a live sample that you can rework. I'll maybe do another uh, background and then it will be two sides each and that's it. Okay, so that was the first one with the stencil. And now we're going to see the other one. So the second one is ESC28 and this is about flourishes and then it comes with this, well, you can get it with this stencil, let me check, this one which is about flourishes too and um, I included this one here because, sorry, this one here which is kind of like a snowflake because this stamp here you can do that shape, but then of course you need to stamp it six times and then put a flower in the middle. And I thought it would be easier if you actually got the actual thing and you just ink up or apply some crunch paste. So then that's why I bring it, brought you this shape for the stencil. And then this is repeated like a pattern and so on. And again, it's kind of, it comes from this one basically. And then that, those from here come kind of from this one more or less, but transformed into a stencil. So I really wanted to have one of these because I love flourishes and I really like to decorate stuff and to have them for backgrounds. And I think that they are very playful and as you will see, you can create many, many patterns and many things. So I hope that, um, well, that you like what I did for this one. So I created these uh, book of patterns. You know, when you go for, uh, oh, you failed. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> Later on in the comments below, I mean, to whoever the shop was here, I mean, if you let me know, then I will, I will post the link so then people can know, know where to find you, don't worry. <laughs> but thanks for popping by anyway, <laughs> James from Stampers Group. So, okay, this is uh, the, well, the, the kind of like the cover. And I made this using, you know, the papers that they come in Amazon packages or in any sort of package that they try to put some paper so then your goods are protected. So basically I, I use this and then I thought that I could use this as a base. And then I created different patterns. Okay, so basically with those, you can get these things. Yeah, very vintage. Then you can also well, create different shapes as you want. Then more shapes. This one I was playing with the rest and then at the very end, I thought, okay, which ones are missing? And then I put them together as I could. And yeah, they look very nice. So imagine getting a Christmas present wrapped in one of those, right? And then this one resembles of some tiles, which are pretty awesome too. I like them very much. And then this perhaps is my favorite and is the simplest one to make. Just grab this, the stamp and stamp it all the way. And then you can just vary the ink and you can, you don't need to put it as close as I did. You can put it more separated and it would look nice too. And finally, we have this one, which is precisely what I told you, like the, um, what is it, the snowflake that you can get using those stamps. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And with that same st stamp, well, if you repeat it all over and you change the color of ink and a little bit the position, 
then you can get something like this which is reminds me like a tapestry or something so that's my booklet or book of um patchwork or not patchwork patterns so at some point again it will be my youtube channel so you'll be able to to see it okay so yeah oh yeah and i forgot to mention but i mean if you look here for example that damask that you saw there you also have it in a smaller size so basically depending on the um gorgeous thank you so much so depending where you actually stamp it uh, I mean, the surface that you're working on, you may want to use actually the small one rather than, than the big one, right? So it's up to you or what you want to do. And, and same thing with these ones here. So you have this, the big size and the small size. And depending on, on what you do, yeah, then you can basically use one or the other. So I ma made sure that the ones that I like the most <laughs> had two shapes, <laughs> big and small size. So then you can combine. And then also I did also the, the little flower over there. And that one over there so it's the same again let's see i'm getting buried on pointing and it's because the stamp is reversed on the other side so i know where to point <laughs> that's i didn't realize that's cool and then this one over here i love it because well you can create like a line like this as you can see you just stamp three times and then basically it seems like a, a complete perfect line i mean you just need to practice a little bit but it works wonders so yeah that's the, those are the samples that i made with this one and then with the um, coordinating stencil, oops, I did these three. So okay, this is the first one that I made with the flowers. And then this is done with a quick cure clay. And this is like a very, um, it's a very thick material once it's dry, but it's like a, a well, like a clay that you can basically model. And then um, once you cure it, it becomes super, super dry. I mean. I don't know if you hear it, <laughs> but it's like a stone, okay? And um, the demo that I will be showing you is, I mean, I use the stencils to create this. So I use basically um, the stencil that goes with that. So I used this one to create that, that little thing, okay? And then I also stamped on a stripe um, a word from the other stamp set that you will see afterwards so yeah um, you can create your own embellishments or as with the previous one you can create your own beans coffee beans i mean i don't know if you can see them but they are super cool so i'm going to <laughs> thank you so much i'm happy you like them so i'm going to basically create some beans for you and i'll show you how to use the clay with the stencil and yeah you can create a shaker card and then put them in later on and that would be awesome for a coffee lover i think if you well give them like a shaker card with those chiki chiki there, over there. So this is the one. And then I did like a series because I created like a background pattern. And then I stamped also, I mean, used grunge paste through the stencil to create also this one. So that's the snowflake. And as you can see, all the shadow. So it, this is 3D, it's pretty awesome. And then the background has some uh, gold. And then this one, it's like a, if it was a wallpaper, kind of. I, it, I mean, it reminds me of a wallpaper. Actually, that was the purpose of this stencil. So then at some point, I hope I can create some sort of like a dollhouse or something. So I have, it's perfect for, for the walls. And here's time, thank you. This one, it was not that nice. <laughs> I didn't stamp it properly, but it's not bad. <laughs> so again, with a Q, Q, quick cure clay, it's like a, a twist tongue for me. This is the thing, okay? So I'll show you later how to use it. And yeah, some of our stock is here. So Stampers Grove and Pro, I don't know if Lobby Craft will have it too, but they, they do have them in stock. So if you wanna get that clay, you can get it. We can get it from them, for example. Okay, and the final one, it's this one. So it has some tags and then, so it's empty vintage tags, okay? So you have like three. And then basically you have four uh, different um, tags, I mean, well, things to put inside, okay? And all of them fit on everything. So you can create as many different combinations as you want and in different colors, combinations as well. You have here also shake the bottle before use. Oh, the other way, <laughs> yeah. And then it's this, is, this sentiment will fit into this stripe as well, if you want. And then all this stripe, it comes attached as one. Okay, but I'll show you. 
but <coughs> excuse me you can cut it as i did already and then basically you can chop it as you want and create your own sentiments as you want or use the entire stripe to create actual backgrounds so i'll show you what backgrounds i created because obviously this set is for you to create labels so looks good from here okay <laughs> <coughs> excuse me i'm still recovering so for example the normal use for the labels would be to create labels so i mean i really love creating ephemera and then basically oh will be all of my christmas list oh thank you so much angela i, I hope you really enjoy them so yeah for example this is one of the labels that you can create but also i mean you can create many other things oh and the coordinating stencil is this one i mean it comes like this okay so it has masks and stencils. So once you pop out the masks, you get basically those holes and the masks. So you can use both to kind of decorate your labels because they work together. Okay, so let me show you the samples and then I'll explain how they work with the stencils. So for example, I decided to do some backgrounds rather than creating just tags. So this is one background that I created just by stamping first the empty um, labels and then I stamped the the signs inside I combinated mix and match and then I don't know if you can see it but all the frames are kind of whitish and the rest is a bit darker and this is because I took the stencil and then with some ink I actually inked up the inside so if you put it like that for example on this one from here I don't know what some things are <laughs> going down so if you put it there basically you can color just the inside and leave the margins blank or if you use this one there, same thing. Oh, let me see. So they would fit inside. They are made for fitting inside. So then basically you can color them very, very easily. Okay. So that's one option that you have. And then the other option is actually getting the mask and covering the inside. So, for example, if you wanted to actually leave the interior white and then, or whatever color it is, and then cover the rest, then you could put the mask in there and then actually add things on, on the outside, okay? So that's the other option. But of course, I mean, if you go rough like that, well, probably you're creating labels, right? Because otherwise all the paper will get that color. But it's, um, well, I think it's more, it's like a tool more than something nice for you to create stuff. I know that all the stencils are a tool, but, but this one specifically, it's kind of for, to make your life easier and also I don't know about you but I like to create my own tags for Christmas and for creating even mini projects and I normally struggle to actually cut everything uh, eh, with just I mean measuring the actual paper and see how many they fit inside so I decided to you know what I'm gonna make a stencil for this so these two tags uh, that would be kind of for manila tags um, would perfectly fit I mean on an A4 size paper and then you could create many many tags with them so you basically put it in the paper so if I take a piece of paper and then I'll show you what I mean well I mean it's not tricky you just if you take the paper and then you start putting it like this and then you start putting ink through it uh, then basically you end up with tags so for example with one yeah, these are all the tags that I created just with one A4 size. One A4 size got me all these tags together. So I think you can get, I think it's 17 from the small one and I think 12 from the big one if you place them right. So I'll do a video as well on how to use this and how to create this because I think it's pretty useful uh, for people. Um, because if you like me like to create tags, then basically you can create your own out of a piece of paper rather than buying the actual tags. And then I created this little cute <laughs> envelope to store the actual decorations from the Manila tags. Okay, and one just fell down. <laughs> so I'll take that one to show you how they look once you put that decoration. So basically you put, I mean, it would be like a normal Manila tag and you can change the color of uh, as you want. Of course, these are cut manually because you can't do much. I mean, actually you could use them you could use these directly into the paper and instead of cutting anything, it could be a one layer of, what is it here? A one layer of um, paint on top of this and you wouldn't even need to cut the actual, um, the actual um, ring of paper. 
to decorate, you just put it there. And that's what I did also in these tags. So I'll show you. This is for Merry Christmas, for Christmas. And then basically the actual um, circle, it's painted, okay? It's not cut and stick. So you can do that as well if you want. So I was using here some old stamps from Christmas. And then these were transformed a lot. I mean, if you go to the paper as a blog, you would see that they were originally yellow <laughs> and then, or brownish, I would say. Then they changed into blue and then blue with snow because I didn't like uh, the finish that much and they were a bit hi hidden, the Merry Christmas and so on. So to make everything pop, I kind of added a lot of um, white ink on top. I think I used picket fence and then I put... Um, some um, snow on the different things. I think they turn out not wisely. I mean, the, the back is not that good, but well, it's better the ones for um, Halloween that I made. So let me show you the ones for Halloween. Again, with a different stamp set with ESC 06. I use the, I mean, the, the pumpkin and so on and the skeleton. And then on the back, I use the, uh, the one of the, uh, what is it, the flourishes. And I love this one. I mean, I think it really pairs very well with the Halloween one. Okay, so I think that's all. Let me check if I'm missing. Oh, yeah, we didn't do go through the samples. So I show you this one first, and then that's when I drive to the stencils. But then also you can do something more colorful if you want. This one is with infusions and so on. This will be also in my YouTube channel eventually. Then if you just want... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, with a stripe of um, the different sentiments, which has a Merry Christmas, a Winter Time, Thank You, Autumn, many things, okay? Summer, Spring, so it has all the different seasons. Then you can basically just stamp in black and then with a color of uh, infusions, just paint the background in the color of your choice. And you have like a, you can create a 6x6 six six paper or any paper pad that you want. So you can create your own if you want it for your own scrapbooking or even for just other projects like cards or whatever, so you can create your own background. Okay, and then the same thing here, if you use infusions, like dry rub on, on the rubber and then you spray some water, then you can create these effects. This is the first stamping with a little water. Then this one comes if you add to the same rubber more water, so you get more watery. And finally, if you use lots and lots of water and any leftover, you end up with this, which is pretty, um, watery, um, but it looks nice, isn't it? So for this one, there will be also a video in my YouTube channel. And I think that now I'm done, kind of. Yeah, I think that, that's all, all that I wanted to show you. So um, do you want me to do the uh, <coughs> fabulous ba background paper? Thank you so much. So I'll go and just do the little demo about how to create the, um, the coffee beans. I have two ways of doing that. Let me just put this aside because I want to get this out of the way. Oh my God. <laughs> so I hope you're doing great and I hope that you have, you're planning your Christmas already. Hopefully everybody will be able to go home. Last Christmas we, we just stayed in London. We couldn't go and visit the family, but I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to travel this time. It's so nice to see you in person. Thank you so much, Leslie. Ah, so happy to read you. Very nice. Good job. Thank you so much. Ah, you love the flourishes. Yeah, they are nice, right? Say, so, yeah, I feel much better, to be honest. I mean, if you saw me this morning and last night, I was, oh, I was having so much pain in my, I mean, my whole school and my bones and my jaw was super, super icky. I really don't know what I got, but I think my partner also had it. So probably we got it from Matt, from my little one nursery that he's catching everything and passing it to us but well calf mod oh hola hola que tal <laughs> okay so let me show you now um yeah the, the quick demo okay vamos a ver la demo de cómo crear unas beans of how to create some coffee beans okay and these are can you listen I don't know if you listen because the microphone is not close, to, not very much close to the ground, but okay. So let's just park this aside and let's do this. So what you need to create this, I mean, probably with other um, clay would work as well, 
but the good thing is the of the cure clay that it goes super super fast and it automatically hardens and then you can start doing things <laughs> which list is getting longer through the oh my gosh <laughs> have you included already quick cure clay <laughs> or is that the thing that you that you wanted to put because i mean this is pretty awesome i mean to be honest as a clay and the touch and so on i don't like it okay but the actual results and the quick that you get the results that's what i really like and i think that overcomes my kind of um not liking the texture and so on because it kind of leaves a little residue and it smells a bit okay so if you're sensitive um to things that smell maybe this clay is not for you okay but um, you really get uh, nice things, okay? So uh, you have two options. Um, let me put you a bit down so that you can see. Can you see roughly? Yeah, so, oh, I didn't show, let me show you first one thing I forgot. Okay, so I made, I mean, this is super, super rough because it's just, I mean, I need to decorate it a bit more. But with, the, with this last stencil, this one from here, I was using, this which is the ticket one and then the admit one so i created these awesome tickets and this is i, I created them at the last minute so can you see that Ooh. this is with the stamp set and then you can create this this will go also on my youtube channel so don't worry if you want to know how i made this you will see it and then this is another one much simpler it's just using the stencil this one is using the stencil and the stamp and then the last one is this one over here and here is just with the stencil okay so yeah and i got a bunch of tickets Ooh. <laughs> i love this so basically yeah you can create your own ephemera I'll, I'll sort it out later because i think i didn't put them in the same way okay it's a bit rough because I need to decorate it a bit more, but I wanted to show you the idea because I, I was really proud of it. <laughs> okay, so uh, you can get um, a little piece like this of the, of the quick cure clay, and then you can either pass it through one of the holes. So I don't know how to show you this three. So if you, I, I'll do a video as well in YouTube like this. So you can pass it through here, okay? And then you have the perfect shape because, I mean, remember, this part with this part of the stencil completely match, okay? So that's one option. And then if you choose chose this one, then you can choose this one over here, okay? And then basically you would press it down a little bit, okay? And that will get you a coffee bean, okay? Then you can clean up the excess uh, by basically cutting it out with a spatula or something like this. And that is kind of faster than the second trick that I'll show you now. And it will probably give you more dimension to the bin. Okay, so that's how you create the first one. Okay, and then the other option is you just get a little bit of cool cure clay. Handy tickets for a make and take at a craft show. Yes, I agree. Whenever craft shows come back, <laughs> I would love to be there and show uh, this deep and how to build this. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I hope the world heals soon and we can all be everywhere. Back to kind of normal situation. I don't know. Let's see how long it lasts. Okay, so um, if you just put, as, as you saw, let me get you closer. Uh, excuse the noise. Uh, ah, okay, can you see more or less? Okay, so this is there. Okay, I put a little bit of clay over there. Now, if you put the um, actual bean there, then you can get like a little brush or something. Yeah, for example, this one. And then with the back of it, you can just press down all the circle. Of course, if you cover the whole thing, you could do many in one row, okay? But then <laughs> it will take a long time to actually pull everything out because now it's time to actually pull the stencil out and then trim out the excess. <clears throat> okay, so you would trim out the excess of the actual bean. Okay. 
and then you would go again with the stencil but this time you would go with the top part and don't worry because you can always I mean this um, this clay doesn't dry on its own it never dries okay so you just need to I mean in order to harden it you need to apply heat lots of heat okay like with a heat tool because otherwise it will not it will not cure so that's good because it gives you as much opening time as you need to do the different shapes and if you don't like a shape you just pull it out and turn it into a ball and back into the package and nothing happened and then next time you can try again and that's it so now you have the the little bin okay this one is a bit longer I mean the time to get it but it's also nice and then you can shape it a little bit I mean to be honest you could do them by hand but I think that doing it with a stencil if you do many you will get consistency and so on okay and then once it's done then let's bring the two so one is here and the other one did I lose it I oh, know it's here okay this one is a bit more 3d let's say so let me give it a little round shape over there and then I'm going to just use the heat set the heat tool sorry I put it a slow speed just because my little one is sleeping and I don't want to wake him up but you could do with a quick one and you may be able to see the actual um, what is it the actual smoke coming out so now smoke comes out so apart from the smell it comes <laughs> smoke out okay so it's not the perfect clay but well it has other features that I actually like so let's go sorry for the noise I think my my little one is sleeping so let's put the, the, the quick one Okay. Done. Okay, these are done and these are now super super hot. You need to be so careful now. Okay. I think someone in my YouTube channel recommended me to drop these into water. So then you would basically um well they would basically um uh what is it? Um uh, well, be colder. <laughs> okay, so if you do like that, you may hear the hiss. Well, you don't hear the hiss. Okay, but yeah, these are pretty, pretty, pretty hot. So I'll I leave them aside. But what I basically did, uh, this is another one that I made, and then I just need to color it now. So you can get any sort of um, paint that you want. I'm using uh, the paper at the um, fresco. Paint. I think that chocolate pudding is the perfect choice for this one. I'll show you my. <laughs> okay, now I think I can paint and look at you. Yeah, that's quick cure clay, exactly. Sí, que es una buena idea para hacer las coffee beans. A mí me gusta mucho. Y luego haces una shaker card con ellas y quedan bien guays. Okay, so if you get a little bit of paint. And you can basically just use it. Oh my gosh, this is a bit rubbish. <laughs> okay, let me. Uh, okay, now I just don't want to put too much paint on my surface, so I'm just picking it directly from the pot. Okay, so I'm just using paint and then I'm just, well, painting the actual little bin. And that's it. So you just add some of it and it should be all right. And once you give one or two layers, whatever you want, then basically you end up with this, with a coffee bean. And then if you, for whatever reason, want to give like a shine or some sorts, uh, do you know the wax uh, seals that have some sort of luster? And uh, maybe I have, let me check if I have, it's a bit improvised, <laughs> but I don't know if it will work fine. Um, where do I have them? Oh, it's been so long since I used this that I really don't know where they are. Uh, not this one. There was one that was gold. Treasure gold. Uh, let me check. I think it will be over here. Ah, yes. Okay, this one. No, brass. Okay, so for example, if you get um, a wax or some sorts, and then you add just a little touch 
<coughs> this smells even worse than the actual uh, cure, cure clay because it has some sort of tuper, turpentine or something. But anyway, if you add some, some over there, then basically they turn out a little, I mean, however much or less you want to put, they become goldish and then they are even yummier. You know, oh gosh, who doesn't love gold? I do. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So I hope you like my quick demo. Uh, also, you can color them with infusions and everything. And I hope you like the release, actually. So, um, I don't know what I will be showing you next week in my YouTube channel, but it may well be the car from, what is it, from the cappuccino, probably. And then, yeah, the other ones will come after. So if there is any preference or any uh, sample that you like most and you wanted me to prioritize, I don't know, maybe these ones. I don't know, maybe you like these three sets. So if you want me to do this next. Otherwise, I mean, probably this will be the next one coming in my YouTube channel. And then probably these three. These are very much fun to do also with fresco paints. And yeah, I don't know. And maybe the tags, I may do the tags as well because they are for Christmas. I oh, know the ones for Christmas, they don't have a, they don't have a video. <laughs> they have a video until they were yellow. Then the different transformations, I didn't record them because I was just about to bin them, to be honest. And then suddenly I thought, okay, let's, let's see what I can do with them. And well, they turned out nicely. So, but I didn't record all the intermediate steps for those, but yep. So thank you very much for joining me in this release and this a little bit improvised. <laughs> I'm sorry for the technical difficulties that we had at the very beginning with the audio. But thanks so much for staying and uh, you love the coffee cup, okay? So that's coming next, okay? And um, I'd love to see you around. Leave me any comments or, I um, mean, you know, about the release if you want. And I would really um, love to see you back in my YouTube channel. And I hope that you enjoy it. And thank you very much for joining me because I know that it's very late. It's very late in the UK, 10 p.m. Now it's almost almost 11. And then it's almost midnight in Spain. And I know there are a couple of you from there. So thank you so much for joining me. And nothing. Um, I'll see you around, okay? Thank you very much. Have everyone a nice weekend. Very nice weekend. Enjoy. And I hope you have a great Christmas if you don't see each other um, anytime soon. And yeah, that's all. So thank you very much and bye-bye. Thank you for popping by. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>